everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahino, and today I have a really cool looking robot here. It is the wall robot from Silly Bird. And so what I'm gonna do today is unbox this and show you what is this robot all about. It looks so cool. So let's go to it. And stick around to the end so you can hear the three things that I really loved about the wall robot and three things that I would improve about it. All right, guys, so check this out, the wall robot. And then this would be mode A. And it has four different builds that you can make. There's mode B, mode C, and mode D. So this would be for ages six and up, 560 pieces. So Silly Bird um, is our STEM toys that will help your kids improve their imagination and capacity to build things by themselves. Okay, if we zoom in at the bottom here, this is the part that I really like. It is phone remote and app controlled. I mean, come on, that's gonna be really cool. Another cool feature is that it's STEM graphical programming and it is safe, non-toxic building toys. So I'm gonna dive right into this and let you see what's inside. Okay, I thought I would show you the back of the box here. And if you check out the description, you will see links to all of these Silly Bird toys, educational toys, all the links to their Amazon and to their website where you can access all of these builds and toys. So with this box, you have building, coding, playing, robot, inventor, multicolored lights, and again, STEM technology, engineering and math. So this is right up the STEM alley. All right, here we go. Let's open this bad boy up and let's see what's inside. Okay. Take a look at this. Very cool. Again, 596 pieces in here. Man, the bags just keep coming. Okay. Looks like this would be the main component there. And then we definitely have the booklet here to make all of these builds. Wow, this thing's pretty thick. So, looks like we don't need to hop on a computer for instructions. We got these instructions right here. So we also got decals or stickers to put on the parts. So that's really cool. Okay, after unboxing the bag, looks like we have the controller here. Look at that. Very cool. Looks like we have two motors here that we'll plug into right there. Very nice. And it looks like this might be our charging source. So looks like we're ready to build. Let's go. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and unbag all of these pieces so they're easy to get to. And let's start on that guy. Okay, after unbagging everything, here's everything that I have. And I just put it into the, the box here. Yeah, it's going to be a little crazy finding things, but, um, you know, don't want to pay extra for a tray here. You can, you know, get something small and easy somewhere to put these pieces in to organize. But, um, you know, for those of you that build really well and can see these pieces, that, that should be easy to find and put together.
Okay, guys, so there you have it, the wall robot from Silly Bird. This thing was just so cool. Let me go ahead and give you the three things that I just really liked about it. Number one, I really liked the lights. The lights just turning colors and just being almost neon looking and then going to the eyes was just super cool. I mean, I'm, I was like, when have I ever seen that before? So that was just a really nice touch from Silly Bird. The second thing I liked is so many times I hear from parents saying, my son or daughter built this one robot in like one day and then it just, you know, they took it apart and it sits in a box and we spent all that money on it. What I really like about this robot is you could take this robot apart, make three other robots with it. So it's just so versatile that you're able to make so many other things with it. The third thing I like about it is just the way that it looks with the decals and just how neat you can make this thing look. So just visually appealing. I mean, so many people have looked at this robot and just have gone, whoa, that's really cool looking. And it's again, you can just make it look cool looking with other builds. Now, the three things that I think could have been improved on this robot, number one would be the on and off switch. Um, in this particular build, the pieces were so close together, it was hard to get to the on and off switch. We had to use an axle to be able to turn it on and off. Um, with other builds, I'm sure it's easier to get to, but this one was just a little tough to be able to turn this thing on and off. The second thing um, that I think could have been improved was uh, because this kit is brand new, you guys know when you get a brand new kit, the pieces are sometimes very hard to put together just because they haven't been used to coming on and off. In this particular build, there were cases where you had to put like four or five things together. And with a new kit, sometimes it's just hard to do one or two pieces. It can be difficult. But when you're doing four and five, that's when it just really became difficult at times to put those connectors together. And then the third thing is, I wish the motor had been a little slower um, because, and I'm sure the kids would love to have this thing go as fast as it did, but I was just trying to be able to control it. And, you know, with me just being able to get that remote control, it was like, whoa, whoa. But I'm sure the kids would love how fast this thing goes and being able to, you know, navigate around the living room. So that is just the a wall robot again for Silly Bird. Really enjoyed putting this together and building it for you guys. And rawr, check out the description for the links to all of these really cool toys. And again, give me, let me give you one last look at this guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.